Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a classic boutique bow. You see this? This is the most popular style bow you, you'll see around. And we are going to make one today. Now these that I have, they don't have the backs on them yet. I'm going to show you how to do that and apply them. What you will need is a hot glue gun, a lighter, your alligator clip, and this is what the bow is attached to and what goes in the little girl's hair. You will need 3 8 ribbon. That would be this ribbon right here. And this is actually going to cover your alligator clip so the bow can stick to it. You're going to need a piece of sheer ribbon and this is what we're going to use to make the bow. I don't sew any of my bows. You're going to need scissors. Now for the bow, you can use any size ribbon you want, any color. I'm using an inch and a half. Um, you can go smaller or larger depending on how big you want your bow. Now, first thing we're going to do is measure how long we want our ribbon to be. And if, if you need to measure yours, I would say measure about 30 to 32 inches. But I like to just eyeball it, so this is how big we're going to make ours. Now, you have your ribbon laying out, and if it's a patterned ribbon, have the pattern on the outside. You're going to take your end, and you're going to bring it right over that ribbon, just like that. Let me show you again. You're going to take your right side, and you're just going to fold it over, just like that. Now that it's folded over, you're going to take it, and you're going to twist it down. Let me show you that again. You fold it over, then you're going to twist it down. Now you might have to repeat this step later if you, if you find out that you haven't measured it the right size. It'll take you a few tries to get it exactly right. Now I want you to hold it just in place with your thumb and your other fingers on the back. Hold it in place just like that. Bring the rest of your ribbon and just toss it over. So bring your ribbon and bring it over your thumb, okay? Try to measure out that side to be the size of this. That looks about right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your left hand, you're going to put your thumb underneath that ribbon and hold the back of it as well, and then you're going to take that top piece and twist it down, just like that, okay? Now this side does appear to be a little bit larger than this side, but that's okay. I can fix that later. Okay, now that you've twisted it down, I want you to hold all of that together. Take the remaining tail, just like that, and you're actually going to loop it under, and you're going to tuck it underneath this first loop you made. So right in between there is where you're going to tuck it. This is the trickiest part. So take it, loop it under, and tuck it right in there. You got to make sure that you're holding it firm with this hand so the, this ribbon doesn't get loose. So you've tucked it. There you go. Now with the remaining tail, you're going to bring that on top of course and then you want to twist it up. Did you see that? Okay. Now as you're looking at this bow, you'll notice that my last loop is a little bit smaller than all the other three loops. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over and make this first loop, the very first loop I did, a little bit smaller. So I can show you how to do it all over again. I'm going to take the side, pull it in, twist it down, just like that. Take this, put it over your thumb, bring it in, twist it down, just like that. Bring this up. And underneath that first tail, now I'm going to bring that up over just like that. And you see this tail is longer than this tail, but if you look at all four of the loops, they look pretty even, so I can take care of that excess later. Now you're going to hold it with one hand. Because if you want to sew it, this is where you would crinkle it all in and 
sew it, but I don't do that. I like to do the easy way. I'm going to take my big alligator clip, and you can use this, or you can use a big Sally clip that you would use in your hair, and you're going to clip it right through the middle. Okay? You're going to squeeze it. This is what it looks like so far. Remember I said you need that sheer piece of ribbon? You're going to poke it through the bottom, pull it through, also pull it through the other side, now you can set it down. And you're going to tie a knot. You're going to tie a double knot, a triple knot, whatever makes you feel safe. It depends on how thick my sheer ribbon is. I'm using how many knots I tie. So let's see, I'll tie about three knots right here. Then I'll open it up. If you look, it looks pretty good. But I want to go ahead and tie it on the back too. So I'll pull that through, flip it over, tie another knot on the back. That gets it even tighter. Gives it that really pretty crease in the middle. There we go, now we're nice and secure. Now if you look at it, yep, all my loops look great. Now let's go ahead and cut this extra tail off. You can do the V-cut if you want. If you want to do the V-cut, you just fold it in half and you cut it like this and that gives you the V. Normally you do it smaller, but I don't want the V today. I'm going to do it at an angle. Just like that, a little bit smaller just like that. Now to keep this from fraying just take your lighter and bring it over and it is sealed, heat sealed. Now you also need to do that to your other end. So let's go ahead and cut that. Light that up. Make sure you get all the ends so it's heat sealed and you're good. Now that is a cute bow. Now I need to do the back. Okay, for the backing of this bow, you're gonna need an alligator clip, or if you like a barrette instead, you can use that. You're gonna take your 3 8 ribbon. Before you cut it, you can go ahead and measure it from the back, wrap it around the front and underneath to see how long you need it. I've already measured it. You're gonna take your hot glue, dab it on the back, take your ribbon, Push it on the back. I'm going to put it on the front. Then I always like to set it down on this part. Put glue on the remaining ribbon that's sticking out and open it and push it in. You never want to close it when you're doing this part. Okay? And push it down doesn't have to be perfect you don't see this part okay make sure you can open it then you have your barrette that's wrapped now you want to go ahead and take your lighter and do the edges that way they don't fray they don't come apart okay then you are going to turn your bow around I just put hot glue all the way around Stick it on the back where I like it. Push it nice and firm. I go ahead and cut the, the tails pretty small. And then I open the back of the clip, put a little bit of glue in there, and then I'll pull these tails through. The way it kind of secures the bow to the clip for extra support. Now your bow looks good, but you still need that finished touch in the middle. You can take any color from the bow. You can take the purple, the pink, the blue, white. I'm just going to go ahead and take this green, cut a piece, put a dab of glue in the middle, stick it on there, 
pull it through on the top and pull it through on the bottom. Okay, just like that. I'm going to turn it around just like I did before. Put some more glue on the backing. Pull that first piece through, close it so it sticks. Then I cut that excess piece off. I put a little bit more glue on there. Put that last piece over. Close it, open it, make sure it works. Cut that last piece off. I'm going to go ahead and seal it. Now your bow is ready to go. Someone's here. And that is how you make your basic boutique bow. And you can use any ribbon, any color, any size.